Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. I was going actually to talk about a different topic, but maybe we will make a video about this topic, additional topic, after I finish this one. I found this one very hilarious and I could not, you know, like uh, uh, fight the temptation. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Sister Fifi was very angry from me. Uh, he made a video exposing Christian Prince, showing comment. People make comments, say, Christian Prince lied to me. <laughs> I mean, how much in pain you are, man. I've, did I say, man, sorry, I did not, I don't want to offend you. Today, uh, Sister Fifi, she is going to expose the brother, Dr. Yasser Kadi. Yes. Are you ready for the funeral? Time to bite each other. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new video. In this video, once again, I'm going to be delving into the topic of Qiraat. Uh, as we all know, the Quran has been preserved word for word. Absolutely. I mean, the goat ate the Quran. The Quran says the Quran is changed. The Quran says Allah will delete Quran. The Quran says that whatever shaitan he threw in the Quran, we will take it away. <laughs> <laughs> it's preserved. <laughs> uh, the, you know, there was verses of the Quran where it says breastfeeding for adult, it's gone. Breastfeeding five times is gone. I mean, uh, uh, the chapter of Al-Hazab used to be equal to the chapter of the cow. The cow chapter, yes, yeah, cow. Equal to the cow chapter is gone. But anyway, the Quran is preserved. Okay, no problem. What, and what is next? Word, tashkil, for it's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. See, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> so look, those idiot. Anyone who exposes Islam, he is their enemy. Even if this guy, Dr. Yasser Kadri, they have a hundred thousand interview with him. Dr. Kadri, what do you think we should do? Dr. Kadri, what is your answer? Dr. Kadri, until this, Dr. Kadri, he said the truth. And suddenly all those Muslim, you know, I don't want to call this guy. I mean, this, this is not a guy, this is a girl. You don't even dare to call me with my respect to girls. Uh, now he is saying to Dr. Yasser Kadri, who made me hijab, walk behind him like a puppy. Ask him, what do you think we should do as a Muslims? What do you think the, the, What do you think about Mu'tazila? What do you think about it? So, so if this guy was an idiot, why all this time doing an interview with him, flying all the way to America to see him, bringing him all the way to England to meet him, having tons of interview and sitting like puppy around him. And not only that, Yasser Kadri, he said to Mimi, why you don't join my class? <laughs> So I can answer you. Suddenly, Yasser Kadri, he is the same as a Christian prince. It doesn't say that, CP. Word, tashkil, for ten. It's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It is Fifi who have holes now. <laughs> I mean, look here. The guy, he is their scholar, supposedly. Suddenly, he is the idiot of the village. Suddenly, he know nothing. Suddenly, he is a liar. By the way, he don't dare to say you're a liar. This guy is a potato. This guy is a, is a fifi. He's literally is a fifi, you know? Little fifi. He don't dare. I mean, when you say no, what does that mean? It means he's a liar, but you don't know. You don't dare to say you are lying. It's not true. Because either what he's saying is true or it's a lie. But you don't dare. Now, the standard narrative of Islam have holes. Mm -hmm where we can find the holes. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to a new video. In this video, once again, I'm going to be delving into the topic of Qiraat. Uh, as we all know, the Quran has been preserved. As all we know, you know, as all we know, like we lived there at that time, and we know, like, come on, that this is true. As all we know, 
the Quran have scientific miracle, the, the sunset in murky water. Do you remember when Fifi, he exposed the apostate prophet and he proved to him that the sun goes every day, as you know? Do you remember? This is why he's so upset. I mean, this guy is dying. Do you remember when he said to apostate prophet that this hadith is accurate? And this hadith refute you? Do you remember? <laughs> I was with the Prophet in the mosque at sunset time. The Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. First of all, you know, look, look how he say, you know, that in the Middle East, we have a way to know who is right, straight person, or he is, you know, from those kind. So, first of all, well, what is that? You know? What? S say it again. When this person, how many times I told him to speak like a man, but you always have the same tone. You cannot make the tail of a dog straight. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes. Yes. This is the correct hadith. The correct hadith. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see. So now we agree that anything in Sahih al-Bukhari, it must be correct, brother. Correct, brother? It's in Sahih al-Bukhari. So if we go right now to Sahih al-Bukhari, and we find this hadith, it must be true as an example here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. It's in Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. It's where? It's in Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. <laughs> so if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari and we find some stupid hadith, uh, let, let us see which which hadith we will show in Sahih al-Bukhari, which is uh, which is. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Let us let us show one is Sahih anyway. This one is the Sahih in front of us. It says if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be like her. If the man has orgasm first, the baby will be like him. <laughs> sahih, Sahih. But if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, and we see how Muhammad explained things from Sahih al-Bukhari, we will find the most horrible thing ever you can imagine. But as long as he confirmed this hadith, by the way, we want to change the topic. No, we are just showing the holes of Islam. And how the Muslims, they try to put stitches over the hole. So he said that this hadith is accurate, right? He agreed with it. Actually, he said this hadith refuted you. Let us see. Hmm. <clears throat> Let us see. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih al Bukhari, da 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 da. <laughs> this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is the one he said it is true, it's correct, and we have to approve it. I'm trying to speak like him, by the way, but I cannot make it, sorry. The Prophet asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said it goes, I eat travel till it prostrate itself under the throne of at the throne and take a permission to rise again. What this guy he said about this hadith? Listen carefully. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see. And it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnain's uh, How it conflicts, how it conflicts. The sun goes in the, in the Quran, as the sun goes in the Hadith. How it conflict, you, you, you dummy liar. Where is the conflict? Both it says the sun goes. Explain the sun disappearing. Continue, potato. Perception. The words... From the Dhul Qarnain perception, brother. It's not Allah perception, but the one who was talking is Allah. He did not say this is from perception of Dhul Qarnain. He was confirming <laughs> what he said, what, what he found. Allah, Allah is the one who is talking. He said he found it. He found it. He found it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality.
It is reality that the sun goes every day from the east to the west, brother. Yes, brother. It is reality. According to the science of the halls of Islam, it is reality every day the sun goes from the east to the west, brother. And the Prophet refuted you. You like it, you like it, you don't like it, or else. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, and it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnayn's perception. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality mm -hmm. and not a perception. Ridvan, get it through your skull. Okay, so can we say the same to Yasser Kadri? Put it through your skull? <laughs> I cannot, I cannot stop watching this one here. Like what? Oh, okay, play it, play it again. Word for word, tashkil for tashkil. It's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes. No. Uh, no, it... No, Kasir Kadri, you are a liar. You are a scam. Actually, you are a Jew. You know what? You are a Christian. Actually, you paid by a Christian prince. Actually, you are a fake Muslim who called Christian prince left Islam in the show. Actually, you are not Tabil Qadris Kadri. Tabil Qadris Kadri, I know him. Huh? It doesn't. It doesn't. Um. Anyways. What do you mean? Anyways. What I was saying is the Quran, Alhamdulillah, has been preserved. Traditional understandings of Ahru. Did you see this guy? How he, how he became like a fat goat? Sorry for using the word fat, but this guy, he was so skinny, but the donation is doing a great job. <laughs> Standard narrative has holes. Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Liar? Um, anyways, uh, uh, what I was saying is the Quran, alhamdulillah, has been preserved. Hey, whoa, 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 He's going to be like a balloon, will explode soon. But listen, the guy, he's saying no. Is that how you refute other, the other guy? No. This is the refutation? No. Traditional understandings of Ahruf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked. Pressing questions? What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What, 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 what are you talking about, you liar? What, 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 what? So those Muslims, they have thousands of videos to refute us, and there is no questions about the Quran, supposedly. Suddenly there is no question. Nobody is asking questions about the Quran. Like, what are you talking about? There is people making questions about the Quran? Are you crazy? Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Where? Look, what? What, what the heck? What's wrong with you? That not even single person questioned the Quran. Like what? Standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, anyways. This is remind me of doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> anyways. Uh, what I was saying is the Quran, alhamdulillah, has been preserved. Traditional understandings of Ahruf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked pressing questions what, what are you talking about exactly what do you mean by what are you talking about what's wrong with you we never heard of such a problem do you remember guys when this potato he made a video answering david wood about the goat eating the quran eating the quran do you remember the video is there it is hilarious uh, <clears throat> the hadith was saying Aisha she said the verses of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 time was revealed have you ever heard of a religion and the funny when I say to a Muslim woman who is very filthy like Fifi she said Jesus he played with his mother or you know what is what she said and I said to her the fact it is your prophet who said to me suckle me to you to say to you suckle me they cut the video they put it there and we were caught in this hadith and they said the one who use it is a sexual predator 
So they admitted that their prophet is a sexual predator, making fun of women by saying to them, suckle a foreigner or a stranger. And then Aisha, she was suckling and her, uh, using her nieces and sisters to suckle anyone when they enter upon her, which means Aisha, she have a bunch of secretary from her family. Any man when they enter upon her, she is going to give him her nipples. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adults 10 times was revealed, and the, the paper was with me under my pillow. When the message of Allah died, we were pre preoccupied with his death, and the time sheep came and ate it. And then this guy, you can watch his video, he said, this, uh, this girl, sorry, he said, uh, David would. We can, all of us, renew the verse of adultery, stoning to death. And I can recite it for you. And I made a challenge to the potato. Can you recite for us the verses of a breastfeeding for adults? Because I want to add it to my Quran. As long as the Quran is preserved, as you see, it says here the verse of stoning and breastfeeding. And breastfeeding. Who is the Muslim can recite for us the breastfeeding verses? Not only that, there's 10 time breastfeeding for adult, and there's five time breastfeeding recitation where we can find them. Where we can find them, who's going to recite for us? So the coward, he did not answer. So, no, nobody questioned the Quran, and nobody questioned, and by the way, I don't care if the Quran preserved or not, actually, I wanted every verse in the Quran to be there, so we can die laughing at the stupid garbage of Muhammad. As an example, if, if the goat ate, and thank God the goat did not eat the, the chapter uh, 18, that can save the Muslims a lot of questions about the stupidity of their prophet. If you go to chapter 18, like we are talking about uh, the sun set in murky water, right? But the whole chapter is horrible. As an example, if we ignore, if we ignore that the sun is setting uh, in a place and rising in a place, but we find that when the sun set, it set next to people. It set where people live. This is where it set. And the Quran is so clear. So when the Quran says in chapter 18, verse number 86, that until he, it's not him, the guy talking, it's Allah saying, he reach the setting of the sun, he found it. It's a finding. It's a discovery. He did not imagine and the funny they say to us the Quran is a clear Arabic and it's very clear you know the Quran itself says we made it in the pure clear Arabic so we made the Quran so clear and here we go it's so clear it says he reached the setting of the Sun he found it sitting in a spring of murky water and you notice here the Quran used the word spring but a spring cannot be an ocean since when a spring is an ocean since when in which language If you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran use the word sea when he speak about the sea. As an example, the story of uh, the same chapter actually, but we can go to other chapters and see more, more verses. And I think this guy himself, he, I mean this girl, she is from Bahrain, right? All those verses speak about the two seas. Do you see it? Chapter 55, verse number 19, chapter 27, 61, chapter 25, 30, 53, chapter 18, 60, uh, 60. But this is the same chapter we are reading from. You will see that the, the, the God of the Quran, when he want to speak about seas, it says seas, not a spring of water. Do you see it? The same chapter, but the verse we are reading, it says a spring of water. So did Alexander the Great imagine the sun sitting in a spring of water? How that can, how that can happen? How that can happen? It's a spring of water. It's impossible. So in order to, you know, to, to solve the problem, which is very embarrassing, 
they say oh this is the imagination of the pro the etc and then we show them the hadith muhammad himself saying the sun set in murky water and then what they have to say oh this is uh, reported once uh, by this guy the other guys report differently you know the other guy don't report it differently when somebody report a story either he add more details which happen or he don't add the details which happen anyway If there are three guys and we ask them about what they witness, each one of them he will tell us the story differently, but they will report the same incident. Some they might mention additional information, some they will not mention the additional. Here it says, I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, SAWS, which means like high wave radiation, radio active, uh, fart. And it says, Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? He asked, Do you know where the set? I replied, Allah and His Apostle knows best. He said the set is set in a spring of warm water. Do you see the word spring? It's in total agreement with the Quran. Is this hadith is da'if? No. Is it rejected? No. So what we will do with it? We will reject it anyway because it's embarrassing. And the funny they say, anything don't agree with the Quran, we reject. Well, this is in total agreement with the Quran. So if we go back, to the stupid thing he said in this video that the prophet he refuted you here you will see that all of islam collapse and actually i encourage all the christians to copy this part and show it to any you can copy this you do not need to copy all the video copy all only this part look it is from here copy from uh, you know download the video as it is if you want the video of this guy and show how stupid the cult of islam is that they agree this is this is after fighting and trying to, to to find a way to solve the stupid stories in the quran after all the trying they agree that this hadith is correct due to the narrator's misunderstanding of the quran see the narrator he misunderstands in the quran if a christian prince he said the sun set in mercury water the, uh, the christian prince is a liar but if one of the great Muslim names, he say that, that the prophet says that, this is according to his misunderstanding. But look at the stupid liar. This is, can be misunderstanding if he said a commentary about it. Like it's not the prophet says that. You know what I mean? How this is, can be a misunderstanding, you idiot. Who is the one is talking? Muhammad is talking. So what he is saying that the prophet have a misunderstanding of the Quran, because in order the narrator or the one who narrated the hadith, he have a misunderstanding. He have to say, and I say the the sun set in murk, but he did not say that. He said that the prophet said this. Said what? He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. So how you coward, muta boy, say that this is misunderstanding? To the Quran. So now they are fighting each other. And the more they try to defend, the more they get themselves busted. Anyone, if you if you have any person, you want him to leave Islam in five minutes, it's just, just explain to him how stupid what this guy you say. You will see the person will leave Islam because if okay if this guy I, if this guy we trust what he's saying and he agree and the Muslim agree with this hadith, I mean why he will say we agree with this hadith? He is taking side with the Christian prince. Why he will say that? An alternative and see this narrated by Abu Dhar. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at sunset time. The Prophet said, "O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets?" I replied, "Allah and His Apostle know best." Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, and it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnayn's perception. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality and not a perception. Redvan. Get it through your skull.
It is reality, brother, that the sun goes every day from the east to the west, brother. It is reality. And the sun, brother, asks for permission to come back, brother. And then, brother, one day the sun will be asking for permission to come back, brother. And Allah will not give the sun permission. And Allah will say to her, no, go back from where you came from, which is the west. This is reality, brother. The Prophet refuted you, brother. The Prophet what? Refuted you, brother. Put that in your skull. Skull. Skull, skull. <laughs> the Prophet refuted you. <laughs> Reality. Reality. And not a perception. Not the perception. Fun. Get it through your skull that the Prophet, peace be upon him, refutes your understanding of the verse. He refutes it. Not a 21st century Muslim scholar. He, the prophet, refutes it. Okay? Okay. Now that we've gotten all that muddy spring stuff out of the way, we can finally discuss the meaning of this hadith. Okay. But Vaughn sees this hadith as silly because of what he projects upon the prophet, peace be upon him. In his mind, the sun probably grew a pair of hands and legs. Shut up, you idiot, stupid. Let us discuss the, what this hadith mean. The hadith is so clear. The sun goes every day. And you say this is reality. And the sun goes and prostrate under the throne of Allah, i.e. trouble. And you say this is reality. You just made your prophet look like a donkey. Because reality, the sun goes nowhere. And in reality, the sun is not going to prostrate anywhere. And the reality, the sun is just a star. But here you are doing a physical act, a physical action, not a metaphorical. It is reality, as you say. But anyone who have little education, he did not even go to high school, even elementary, to teach you that the sun goes nowhere. It is the earth going around itself. This is why we see the sun setting. Otherwise, sun goes nowhere. But you agreed that this is where the sun goes. Stupid like your prophet. And then, remember here, Muhammad, he said that the sun will go in a course and he quote the Quran. He quote the Quran says, and this is the interpretation of the statement of Allah. And the sun runs its fixed course for a term. That is a decree of Allah. So what is the decree of Allah? The sun every day go from the morning, wake up, go from the east to the west, and then sleep under the throne of Allah, and then ask Allah permission to come back. And then Allah, will, we will keep doing that until one day Allah will not give a permission to the sun to go back. But he will say to her, go back from where you came from. This is how Muhammad, stupid Muhammad, explained the movement of the sun. So when this idiot, he say to Yasser Qadri, that there is no holes in the narrative about the Quran. Well, all the Quran is a joke. And he is acting as nobody. I mean, all those videos you made to refute us, which is funny, and we use it against you. Not against him. I mean, this guy is a potato. We use it against Islam. He's, this guy is a prize for us, by the way, all of them. If not them, if not them, actually, the Muslim will not come and listen to me. If not them, nobody will leave Islam. If not them, you see, Everything they accuse us with, they cannot prove it to be true. And that's why this coward, potato, he don't dare to call me. And he say, by the way, he say, uh, do you know how a Christian prince, he hang up on people, right? They hang up on me more than seven times in three minutes, talking to me, my hijab. I could not even say anything. And the coward, this is his boyfriend. So what about I call you and do the same as me, my hijab? Edit video and play them for me like a kid trying to bully me, son of Muta. Can't you be a man? He cannot be a man. They are intimidated. That's why they have that prepared editing video, because they cannot debate me. Those cowards, when they attack each other, they show us that Islam is the most stupid cult. Because why this guy who is an imam in a mosque, he is the one who teach Muslims. He is the one for, who fly from country to country. Why suddenly he became a scumbag for them? He became an enemy for Allah. 
And why all those YouTuber Muslims who they have no degree in Islam, they don't even have high school in Islam, suddenly they became scholars in Islam, not only scholars against me, they want to teach me what Islam says, they want to teach even their scholars, who just yesterday was teaching them. Today he's no one. To you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. No. Um, anyways, uh, anyways. Uh, what I was saying is the Quran, alhamdulillah, has been preserved. Traditional understandings of Ahruf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked. Pressing questions? What, what are you talking about? Like, like where we can, can you recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult 10 times and 5 times? Can you? I challenge you. Like, what are you talking about? Here we go. I made it simple for you. Can you recite for me the chapter of 10 times breastfeeding for adult? I mean, how simple I can, we can make it. Can you recite for me the five time? I want them both. What are you talking about? This guy is wondering, this Yasser Qadri is saying what? He's, he's being stupid. Like, what are you talking about, man? So you notice here now they are not doing that only with me. They are doing it with their sheikh. Just because the guy, he said something very embarrassing, you know, embarrassing to Islam, suddenly all of them, they are all over the guy. Suddenly he is a scumbag. Suddenly he is the enemy of Allah. Suddenly he is an ignorant. Suddenly he is a stupid. Just because he said what he said. All the interview, they have it with him. Suddenly it's gone in the wind. He is teaching them. They're asking him what to do. They ask him what is the right answer. They ask him, etc. Suddenly this guy is no one. What are you talking about? You are a liar. What are you talking about? Standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, anyways, uh, what uh, I was saying is the Quran, alhamdulillah, has been preserved traditional okay okay guys guys the quran has been preserved let us see what the quran says about the preservation of the quran <laughs> is he going to say that this is daif if we go in the quran it says the following you see how allah protect the quran read carefully never we send messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he uh, framed a desire, Satan threw some uh, between two bracket vanity into his desire. But Allah will cancel anything that Shaitan he throw. Okay, throw where? Where he where he throw? Change the translation or translator. What Shaitan he throw? throw where what happened any Muhammadan can tell us what what this verse is talking about never we send a messenger or a prophet before you but when he recite the revelation or narrated or spoke shaitan throw some falsehood in his recitation do you see it and how Allah will reserve it Allah will take it off Allah will take it off. So the Quran is preserved by Allah taking off shaitan false words, which is spoken by Muhammad. How we can believe in such a garbage? Because how we can believe that this is verse itself itself is not made by shaitan? As long you are saying to me that Muhammad, when he speaks shaitan, he speaks in his mouth. How we can guarantee that this verse itself is not thrown by shaitan himself to make you relax? Don't worry about it. I Okay, uh, shaitan, he put those words, I will take them off. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If the Quran agree that even Shaitan he made Quran, and the funny the Muslim they say to us, who can make Quran like this Quran? But yet the Quran agree that Shaitan he made Quran, and Muhammad did not even notice that this is not from Allah. And Muhammad not only did not notice, he spoke that false Quran.
because if the Quran is coming from shaitan, that's a false Quran. And that's what the verse is saying. So which one he knew, which, which one is the true Quran, Muhammad or Fifi? For sure Fifi. Muhammad is stupid, he doesn't know even how to read his name. Muhammad, you think the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and women have a sperm coming from their chest, breast testicle. So when he recite, when he did recite the revelation or he spoke, shaitan throw some falsehood in it. And Allah abolish, okay? But in order for Allah now to abolish what shaitan he throw, he have to abolish it from the Quran. Correct, guys? Because he throw it where? In the recitation of Muhammad. Recitation of what? Of revelation. So the second Muhammad, he recites something, the Muslim take it as a revelation from Allah. So now the Muslim, they preserve the verses in their heart. And then Shaitan, he spoke the verses to Muhammad. Muhammad, he spoke the Muslim, they, they memorized them. The Muslim, they put them in the Quran. Where are those verses, which is taken off? The Muslim, they will say to you that Muhammad, he praised the three daughters of Allah. How Muhammad, he praised the three daughters of Allah in his recitation without noticing. Can you believe it? How you do such a thing? Imagine I am talking to you and then I praise Muhammad and his three daughters. And I did not notice. And I say for you, their intercession is a must. Worshipping for them is a must. And I did not notice. How that can be? Are you saying to me Muhammad is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a mule? Are you saying to me he's under drugs? How a prophet of God, he says, if I say, if I say a mistake, let us say, uh, a Christian prince, Christian prince, say for us the narrated, say for us the word narrated, 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 narrated. They make fun of me for saying the word if I pronounce it wrongly. Muhammad, he made a verse coming from Quran, read it in the Quran, coming from shaitan. And Muslims don't notice anything about it. It's okay. Allah will take it off. Muhammad, don't worry. Shaitan, he made Quran like your Quran, and you did not notice that this is not Quran. Yet the Quran says, who can make Quran like the Quran? But the shaitan, he made Quran, and Muhammad did not notice that this is not Quran. But nobody can make Quran like the Quran. But shaitan, he make a Quran like the Quran, and Muhammad did not notice it. So Allah, he have to take it, because the Quran was the same as the Quran. Because Muhammad was an idiot, he did not notice that this is going to be from Allah. Should I make it slower? Shaitan make Quran like the Quran, but nobody can make Quran like the Quran. But the Quran is unlike any Quran because it's made by Allah brother. But Shaitan, because he made a very good Quran, nobody can notice it's not Quran. Muhammad, he was reciting the Quran, did not notice that this is not from Allah because it was very good. But how in the world that can happen, especially if you are praising the three daughters of Allah? And the story says that Muhammad, he went home, he did not even notice that he spoke satanic verses. And then the angel, the, the, the angel Jibreel, he came to him and he knocked at his door. Khabibi Muhammad. This is Farid, he said Khabibi. Khabibi Muhammad. What you did, Khabibi? What, what, what I did? You go to Khabibi, you were worshipping the three daughters of Allah. I, I did? Yes, you did. You said satanic. This is satanic verses. Really? Yes, I did not notice that. I swear by Allah. I will say, Allah, don't worry, don't worry. Allah is going to take those satanic verses. From here, we notice that the Muslims admitting by having this Quran that shaitan have a tongue in the Quran. The only claim they have that Allah will take it off. But how we know that this verse itself is not made by shaitan? You know what I mean? How I know that this is not shaitan saying this? And why Muhammad say satanic verses without noticing? And where it says here, look, it says, never we, did we send messenger or a prophet before you, but when he recite revelation shaitan, he throws something in it. What does that mean? That means all the messenger of Allah, they have satanic verses. 
And that's mean Allah will take them off. So how they say the Bible is corrupted? Do you understand the point? All the messenger before Allah, they have shaitan, he throw words in their recitation. This is the verse saying that, not me. Read carefully. Never we send a messenger. Never, never. That's mean according to Islam, even Isa, when he recite Allah in jail, shaitan he throw in his mouth. Okay, and Allah will take it off. So how the Bible can be corrupted? Do you understand what I'm saying? Who don't understand the stupidity? This verse destroy all their claims about the Bible being corrupted, the Torah being corrupted, or the, 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 all those books are corrupted. Because Allah, he says here, never, 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 we send the messenger, but shaitan, he do the same. Allah will take it off. That's mean nobody can put in the Quran, nobody can put in the Torah, nobody can put in the Injil, any verses not from Allah. That's what the verse is saying. Then we find a bunch of stupid idiots come to us and say the Torah is corrupted. But this is very, this, that mean this verse itself is from Shaitan. Because the verse is saying, all the messenger before this has happened to them and Allah take from the recitation the shaitan read it doesn't say only the Quran read carefully never we did send the messenger or a prophet before you but when he recites revelation or or narrated or spoke shaitan threw some falsehood in it but Allah abolish that which shaitan throw in for all the messenger do you see it Anyone taking notes? Are we taking notes? You see, we have a small number because we did not mention to people that are going to go live on air, but I found this video hilarious and very funny. So Yasser Kadri, now he is the idiot of the village for the Muslims, and we are dying laughing at their stupidity, both of them. Because Yasser Kadri, by the way, is a big fat liar like the rest of them, trying to defend Islam. And by the way, though, if you want to know who is the one who leaked who leaked the emails of Yasser Kadri? It is according to uh, this. Is what they told, told me. Uh, this is Fifi. This is how you know who is a real man, who is not. You send an email, for, an email to somebody, and he leak your email, for he is not a man. Understandings of Ahruf al Qiraat cannot answer some of these <clears throat> pressing questions that are now being poked. Pressing questions. What, what are you talking about exactly? What do you mean by pressing? By and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of things. And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they are not aware of? Or pressing questions that they weren't really able to answer? Look, look, look how silly he is. Look, look at this. What are you talking about? There is a question they are not aware of. You, this is what you understand what we're saying? Guys, just to show you that those, this guy, he, this girl, sorry, don't eat food. He eat makeup. Did you even listen to what this guy said? Let, let, let me pay it for you. Listen to your master and see what he's saying before you open your mouth, you fifi. In by pressing by and large our anyways uh, what i was saying is the quran alhamdulillah has been preserved traditional understandings of ahruf al qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked pressing questions what, what are you talking about exactly what do you mean by pressing by and large our ulama in the eastern world are not aware by and large of what's going on in the western side of things and they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay. You, you're a stupid idiot. He is, they, are, he, they are not aware of what's happening in the West, which means in the West, we laugh at you, we laugh at your prophet. And there, they think Muhammad, nobody talk about him. This is what he is saying. They are unaware that Muhammad became the joke of the village. It is so clear. 
So they are living in different fantasy. Muhammad is the prophet. Muhammad is amazing. Muhammad is a. There's no need to discuss if Muhammad is a prophet or that because nobody there anyway. You, if you, the second you say Muhammad is not a prophet, they will kill you. So he is saying to you, the one who live in the East, which means Islamic countries, they have no idea how people laugh at Muhammad here. Questions that are now being hoped. Pressing questions. What, what are you talking about exactly? What do you mean by pressing? By and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of things. And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they are not aware of or pressing questions? They are unaware, you donkey. Guys, how many times when you, I mean, how those, how those people, they listen to each other? How this guy want to explain the Quran for you? If what this guy said is not clear, did he say they are not aware of the questions? Or he said they are not aware of what happened in the in the in the in the in the West. In the and he explained in the West there is academic way of questioning things. We don't take things for granted. This is what he's saying to you. But he will not dare to say this is what the guy meant. He's trying to make fun of him. Trying to make him stupid. And this is what he tried to do with me, but we laugh. Why? Why? What this guy is saying? Even do we need Sahih al-Bukhari to explain this? What his guy he said? Questions that are now being poked. Pressing questions. What? What are you talking about exactly? What do you mean by pressing? By and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of. Do you hear what I say? They are not aware of what's going on. Not aware of what's going on and what's going on people laughing at muhammad for nobody can answer the question and they're not answering those questions and they are not answering the question so they are unaware of what's going on that people are questioning and laughing at Muhammad, and they are ignoring the question, which means they knew the question, but they are unaware that people, they are laughing at Muhammad because they are not answering the questions. And why they can't answer the question? Because the narrative have holes. Nobody can answer those questions. In a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they are not aware of? Or pressing questions that they weren't really able to okay i will stop here just to show you the muslims how they, they say stupid things in the chat this guy he said to us god is dead just to show you how muslims they refute themselves by themselves we just get the proof that jesus is god because if you say jesus cannot be god because he is dead according to you but none of the christians neither the muslim believe jesus is dead why you are lying so you are a liar a fraud like your prophet secondly you are saying that the one who died cannot be god well, that means Jesus in Islam must be God because Jesus in Islam until now he's still alive. So you are now a certified donkey and you got my stamp here. It is a new bun. Let me wash my hands. Do you see how stupid they are? They are trying to say to you, if Jesus is God, then how he died? Well, if Jesus, if, I will use your logic. If Jesus is not God, then how he did not die in Islam? <laughs> if the logic is the one who is God, he shall not die. Well, in Islam, Jesus never died. Stupidity is amazing. That's why we laugh at you. And they asked me why I called them Abdul. Continue, Abdul uh, Fifi. Well, to answer, it seems like you're slightly contradicting yourself. I'm not really sure. Say the stupid Yasser Qadri is contradicting himself. Stupid. You see how they avoid? by making mockery even with their own brother. Contradicting yourself, you are being stupid, silly. You are a son of, uh, don't do muta again. Shame on you, Yasser Kadri. You are, the, you are contradicting yourself. You are, you are just a stupid. You, you, you are a donkey. That's what um, Fifi is saying. Suddenly, Yasser Kadri is a guy who do not know what he's saying. This guy is drunk. 
Ah, maybe he was in the wedding of Muhammad and Khadija when they made the parents of Khadija, Muhammad and Khadija, they made the parent drunk. <laughs> so he can marry Khadija by making the father drunk. Questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they are not aware of or pressing questions that they weren't really able to answer? It seems like you're slightly contradicting yourself. I'm not really sure. And again, this is... I encourage anybody who is really interested to go deep to take the class. <laughs> okay, oh God. Um, listen, guys, if you're expecting some sort of thorough... <laughs> okay, God. <laughs> this entity will teach us, God. <laughs> now, we don't... Not only Christian prince will teach us and spank us. Yes, sir, Kadri. Oh, God. Yes, sir, Kadri will teach us. Oh, God. Cartoon, brother. Yes, sir, Kadri is ignorant. He doesn't know anything what he's talking about. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to teach us? <laughs> okay, God. Well, did you refute him, you donkey? And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they... Hey, I will tell you why you lie when you say that the sun set in murky water. This is was how Zulqarnain saw it. When your prophet confirmed. When the Quran says he found next to it people there, living there. How you lie when the Quran says that when he was going, he went all the way again until he found where the sun rise, not only where the sun set. And what happened? He found next to it too, people who they are living there. And they asked him to build a dam called the Dam of Gog and Mago. Why you lie and you say we can recite all the Quran when you're a prophet himself, he forgot the Quran. Why you lie when I ask you, can you recite for us the chapter of 10 times breastfeeding for adult? And you ignore it. I want you to recite it. And I want you to recite the five time verses. Here you see, until when he came to the rising of the sun, he found it rising on people is that how he thought too he found what he found where the sun rising guys this guy he spent how many years traveling this is the life story of a war warrior he did not even go back home he spent his life in the road so he, the, the Quran saying to us, he went all the way to the end of the world where the sun set, and he went all the way to the beginning of the world where the sun rise. That's what the Quran is saying. So this is the beginning and the end of his journey between those two places, which they took years. So did the sun rise in one place during those years? Because if this is the story, that's mean this guy, his trip was 24 hours. The sun set, the sun rise. That's it, he gone. But this is not the story. Even the interpretation says that this is about Alexander the Great, who is the one who built the city of Alexandria. Until when he came to the rising of the sun, actually the rising place of the sun, he found it rising on people whom we had no provide on covering. Who is talking? Allah, not Zulkarnain. Until now, the one is talking is Allah. This is why he says, until when he came, not when I came. See, the verse doesn't say, when I came, I found the sun. Allah is telling us about things we do not know about Zulkarnain. And by the way, do you know why they call him Zulkarnain? Mean the guy with the two horn. According to Fifi scholars, Zulkarnain, he came to his people, told them to believe in Allah. They hit him in his head, they killed him. So he have a pimple in his head, horn. Boing. Allah, he raised him back, brother, from there. And he sent him back to them and told them, convert to Islam. They hit him again in his head, brother. And now he have two horn, and this is why his name is Zulkarnain, the guy with the two horn. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and then, brother, he built a dam between the people of Gog and Magog and us. The people of Gog and Magog, they are the human. They sleep inside their ear. Their ear is a big like a tent. And each one of them, he make babies equal to 1,000 
like each one of them he make 1,000 baby before he die so if we are six or seven billions that's mean Gog and Magog there will be at least seven trillions where are they behind the dam this is alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud where we can find those Gog and Magog do you think guys they are affected by corona I think they are dead because of corona now where is Gog and Magog? Huh? So when you say we don't have a pressing questions, all of our questions is very pressing. The whole chapter of uh, uh, the calf, the cave is a stupid. Actually, the chapter of the cave itself is about seven sleepers. Who it is a story written by a Christian priest, fiction story about people who've been discriminated, and then they woke up after a few hundred years. And they found that the, the whole territory is a Christian territory. Muhammad, he story, he put it in the Quran. But this is a very famous story published all long before Muhammad. It's a fiction story. And the story of the two seas and the Prophet Al Khudr, who is Mr. Green, is exists in the story of Gilgamesh, where a guy he looked for the fountain of life. And then he found the fountain of life. And then he drank from the fountain of life, and then he never died after that. This is why they call him Mr. Green, Khudr. Why? Because he never died. If we go in the Hadith, and this is Sahih, you will see Muhammad confirming the stupid story. And can this Fifi deny it and say, what is the question? Al Khudr, he is a person who lived next to a fountain, and this is the fountain of youth. The one you saw in uh, the Caribbean pirate. He drank from it, and since then, he never died. He was in the funeral of Noah. He was in the funeral of Moses. He was in the funeral of Aaron. And he was in the funeral of Muhammad. And he is going to be with us in the judgment day too, still alive. But alive in the earth, not in heaven. All right? Why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. Let us, let us show you uh, the, the hadith so Muslim they will not say, uh, here we go. Uh, read with me carefully. Can he say this is a fabricated hadith? We heard him saying this is Sahih Bukhari. Absolutely, Sahih Bukhari is true. <laughs> as we see, it's Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> it is Sahih Bukhari, brother. And so, as long as it's Sahih Bukhari, we cannot say uh, it is not true. It is Sahih Bukhari. Put that in your skull. Sahih Bukhari is true. Oh, best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, and it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnayn's perception. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are... It is in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, which means, did you see, did you see his tone? Which means we cannot reject. Okay, well, this is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. Can you reject? A fountain of youth? Are we watching Harry Potter? And then the fish touched the water of the fountain of youth, the one, the fountain of life, and came back to life? Is that a story? Confirmed? From Muhammad or from somebody else? Yes, from Muhammad. It says from Ibn Abbas, from, 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 that Allah Messenger said this, the, the following. What he said, read carefully, that Allah, he told Musa to take with him a wheel. And then, brother, Musa, he stopped in a resting place, and they rested there next to a rock. Okay, brother? And then Musa put his head down and slept. And then, at the rock, there was a water spring called Al-Hayat. What Al-Hayat mean? The life. And none come in touch with it, with it, its water, but became a life. So when some water, brother, of the spring fall over the fish, it moved and it slipped out of the basket and entered the sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, 
I'm going to post Fifi video as it is without my touches in my Facebook so we can die laughing. So people, they can laugh at how those people, they always, they expose each other. And imagine how trustworthy this person. Who is going to trust this idiot anyway? You cannot trust. You see, for me, I don't trust them. I will never trust them. But this is an example. This guy, uh, Yasser Kadri, he sent an email for him. He leaked, he leaked the email. He leaked the email. He is Farida, Farida Leek. He is Farida Leek. Don't ever send an email to Farida. Are you stupid, Yasser Kadri? Here we go, he exposed Islam. Because of him, actually, now all of us, we are laughing at the stupidity of the Quran and the stupidity of the claim that they say that the Quran have no holes and the Quran, nobody can answer a question about it, etc. So because of his leak, it is him who caused the disaster to Muslims and to Islam. And now they cannot hide it. And by the way, Yasser Kadri deleted his video about it, as I heard. And Mimi Hijab did the same. Because it's very embarrassing. In the beginning, Mimi, he edited the video. People, they start laughing at him. So he deleted the video. And then Yasser Kadri, he deleted because the Muslims are all over him. He's in a war with the Fifi leak. Farida leak. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, anyways, uh, what I was saying is the Quran, alhamdulillah, has been preserved. Traditional understandings of Ahruf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked. Pressing questions? What, what are you talking about exactly? What do you mean by pressing? By and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of things. And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Okay, wait, so uh, do you mean um, pressing questions that they are not aware of or pressing questions that- As an example, you donkey, the Quran which is found in Yemen is totally different from the Quran which is found in your hand. The Quran which is found in Samarkand is totally different from the Quran in your hand. Uthman himself, he burned all the other Qur'an, you idiot. If they are the same, why he want to burn them? Idiot. Those are pressing questions. These verses, according to the Sahih Hadith, are missing from the Qur'an and nobody can recite them. And we asked you, can you recite for us the 10, ten time breastfeeding for adult? What you will say to me, they are abolished, so how they are preserved? There's a the book, it's called Imam al Suyuti. He has a long list, long list of verses and stories about verses and chapters are missing. When you say the chapter of the cow used to be equal to the chapter of Al Ahzab, that means the whole chapter is gone. What is left? And you notice always the way of mockery. And now we discover they do mockery not only to Christians who expose the stupid Muhammad, they do mockery to each other too. The second they don't agree with you, mockery is all over you. But they weren't really able to answer. It seems like you're slightly contradicting yourself. I'm not really sure. And again, this is, I encourage anybody who is really interested to go deep to take the class. <laughs> okay, oh God. Um, listen, guys. <laughs> okay, oh God. You know, he's saying this guy is a liar. He cannot teach us. He is a stupid. He's a donkey. He is a son of Muta, etc. This is what, what, what do you mean? Oh, okay, oh God. What does that mean? What does that mean? Mokari. Mokari. Bully. They are bully people. They try to bully you, smear you. They try to make you lose your credit. You have to submit, otherwise they will bully you. And now today the time to bully Yasser Kadri. They are a bunch of bully and we laugh at you. We laugh at you and we laugh at your bully. Cowards. Uh, 
I'm going to finish this video so you guys can download. I'm not going to keep it for long, but I'm going to come back live again. Uh, let me, uh, because I made a, uh, you know, I was going to talk about something else. Let me create a new. Uh, please don't forget to download this video as soon as we finish. All right. Uh, let us see. We will call this one. To talk to Muslims. I will be back in five or ten minutes, and the the title will be uh, "When Christians School Me About How to Talk to Muslims." You know, always there is some some Christians they want me to talk in a certain way to Muslims, and I have to learn from them. You know what you can do. I mean, they knew how to do it. That's it. So I'm going to take their advice. So uh, let us see which we which one we put here. Uh, okay. All right. I will be back in about five or ten minutes. The link is going to appear in the in my channel. Refresh your page. And actually, let me post for you the link so you can join immediately there. Here we go. I just made it. This is the link. Join us there. And we will be live in five or ten minutes. Just let me give me time to make some tea, and we will be back. All right. Good to have you guys. We are happy to have those Muslims. You know, I did not play the whole video because it's it's hilarious, stupid. You can watch it, and you can. I download it already because later they will take it off. I download the whole video. I will post it on my Facebook. You know, especially the part of Yasser Kadri and this guy making fun of him. This is this is something to remember because later later. Yasser Kadri, he will become their hero if he said as he agree, as they agree. They intimidate you, they put pressure on you, they threat you. You never know, they might even do a physical threat to him. Trust me, this is a mafia cult. They will do their best to put the pressure on him to take back what he say. And then when he take back what he say, he will become a hero again. He will become Ustad again. He is a sheikh again. Today, he is the joker of the village and we make mockery of him. But for, this is always for our benefit. I'm so thankful for Farida Leek, for he is the one who, she is the one who leaked the emails of Yasser Kadri. And this is a priceless to know that this person is not trustworthy. And it, any Muslim, any Muslim, you have him in your mail list. This guy is going to leak whatever you say to him. That is telling you the whole story. A very trustworthy religion. They leak emails of each other. And because of that, today we are laughing at all of them. Thank you very much for being here. Join us about five to ten minutes from now in the other uh, 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 like uh, broadcast. And again, this is the link. And don't forget, please, to download the video as soon as we finish, as, as soon as it is ready, because we don't keep it for long in my channel. All right? Thank you very much, and God bless you. Take care. Take care, Fifi. Nice to see you. Oh, God. Oh, the microphone is still open. <laughs>